Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our first campaign through Victoria 3, playing as Japan. And I decided, I thought about it, I decided against going to take over Shakalin. It is a great region, like if we take a look at it, I realize why Russia would want to go for it, because they have iron mines, coal mines over here and thus it is quite important or useful to have it however if I start a colony I do not know exactly where it's going to be the first region being taken over and if we're placing it somewhere through here Russia will continue to expand thus leaving us maybe a small plot of land somewhere that is disconnected and I do not want that we'll go for it we're gonna try to create some tensions here later on, if it's like in Victoria 2, and take Shakalin for us later on. For now, I feel like this is good enough. We have high tensions, insufficient capacity, okay, nothing that we need to worry about right now. We have five more buildings being constructed, some furniture, some tools, some coal mine and an iron mine. A politician has died from the samurai, okay. Now there is, they want to restore no colonial affairs and we will do that, but as soon as we take over the Japanese Hokkaido. Why would I do that? Well, because we are spending, in the institution, we are spending some of our bureaucracy. Right now we are spending 600, uh, no, not that one. Where is Colonial Affairs 315? So we want to get this bureaucracy back. There's no point in keeping up an institution if you are not going to, to be using it. Let's see if we can get here the whaling industry going. Let's try to recruit another admiral here. Once again, they're both from the Shogunate. Then I guess we'll have to do this. He, we can get him to be a diplomat. Cruel and wounded minus. I mean, a low health character seems like he could be the right thing we would want to take. Because he will die, maybe we'll get someone from a different faction and thus removing some of their influence. Our goal is to reduce the influence of the Shogunate at this point. In recognition of accomplishments. With the recent investment in Kansai, the raw good industry uh, has resulted in a positive balance for fishing wharfs there. Interest groups are quickly trying to claim credit for the investment. The industrialists deserve all the credit, 10% extra pop attraction for 2 years. The shogunate should get all the credit, or workers should be recognized that bringing more trade unions. Having trade unions, especially early on, is not something that you want they will be fighting for all types of rights that cost you money they will cost you bureaucracy for the institution and all that and if you don't have the industry to support it it's not gonna go well for you let's go now for industrialists deserve all the credit this is a great event for us we often talk of the progress we have made through the hard work suffered that led us to the joyous occasion why is not often addressed and why is not often addressed are those that got us to this point and how without their contribution we would not see such achievements. I don't know if this is like old English uh, grammar or something, but it didn't sound that well to me, but I understood the idea. A dangerous business event has happened in Kanto, so in the region where we have our waiting business. The efficient of our whaling stations in Kanto has proved to have dangerous counterparts and death has become common to almost every voyage. It is a high price to pay, but the profit is equally high. And let's see what the text says. The body of the whale lies as wide as the sky. Its head has been emptied and the barrels of oil has stained with blood. are stained with blood. A voice resounds throughout the wharf. We lost a dozen of men and then he starts to list them and their towns. A few of them are from the capital. One of them has your brother's name. The oil shimmer, the liquid gold like blood of a siren, luring men to their deaths. Okay. So very profitable business. It's mostly at this point for the meat. And what do we get? We ensure the safety of our sailors. 
that means that we would get more popularity for five years or the admiral gets more popularity for 25 years and we reduce our whaling employment mortality by 2% 2% might not seem like much but when you're talking about millions of people 2% is a lot I know millions of people do not look work in the whaling industry like how many do we have just as an idea if we take a look at the business and we take a look at the whaling station right now we have 15k so 15,000 people and we are losing at this point we have a 30% chance and a 20% chance of mortality which could be quite a huge number over here from a total population of what how many do we have in Edo in Edo we have 5 million so it could put a damper in all that but I think going with but it shines is better thus providing us 33 more through output for meat and oil oil we're not doing anything with it i'll repeat that but meat we're definitely using and it catches a fairly good price right if we look at meat yeah there is some demand for it and it's a 33 cost oil yeah not that much okay we're doing furniture we're doing tools next coal mines probably need to start thinking about changing some of these farms to different fruits i like the fact that whenever you are looking at a business if you want to change to a different type of technology or production or even if you when you are trying to build certain buildings it tells you like what how the price will be influenced now if we go from maintain a single crop which provides us with grains we could go with a citrus orchard which would increase slightly the price of grain but and decrease the price of sugar but it will also decrease the price of fruits which makes it easier for other people to buy it and ensure that they receive the goods that they need we could also have vineyards which would reduce you could see that if we made a vineyard it would tank the price of wine right now Mostly because there's not enough demand for it. We can start using tools. At this moment it would be fairly expensive. But we're gonna increase our tool production. We're gonna make it from pig iron. Because it will also cost iron and... I think that is definitely it will give us more production and it's going to be better we'll see one decision at a time the intelligentsia have deactivated the social criticism it went back up where are we as far as territories we have only one two more territories to capture here you can see that Russia has expanded a lot. And it's great that at least for us we don't have to worry about Russia at the moment. We've unlocked the paddle steamer or steamer. The paddle steamer is a steam powered watercraft where the steam is used to turn paddles that pushes the ship through the water. It's that one right there. That wheel. Academia has been unlocked. Institution of higher education don't just improve individuals' mind, but bring the nation's best and brightest together where they can create extraordinary things. Cool. Now let's go here and let's take a look. There's a cotton gene that's being researched. Mandatory service is being spread as well. Mm, I am going... I could go for percussion cap. In order to unlock a munitions plan, that could be interesting. Empiricism will provide us with more influence and one plus one to the max education institution level. 
all of these do the same but we don't need to invest that much into education not at that level central archives is something that we could use because it would increase our taxation capacity but you can see now that we already go up in our cash and gold reserves so there will be a certain limit to where because we're not using our money we're pretty much wasting it i guess would be this in a sense not not totally like that i am going to go for romanticism 23 months we'll get the extra prestige from it and we're very close here to taking over the isle sink of hokkaido we've pretty much expanded to where we wanted If we go for no colonial expansion at this point, the leader of the shogunate will be would be unhappy, so would the samurais and the petite bourgeoisie. There is a lot of disapproval for it, but I guess we'll we're just gonna have to try and fight it. Samurai have become patriotic fervor. Once again, great. We have only three constructions left, we need to think about what our next step is. Now if I am going to look at buildings... I feel like making a small arms industry would be good, just to improve our army. Army also adds up to prestige I believe, or to your rank, not necessarily to prestige. Now where are we? Let's go by con not by country, let's go by rank. Currency standards have been unlocked. By establishing a standardized currency, the population can be taxed in a uniform fashion, collecting tax via the currency rather than labor or goods. Unlock per capita taxation in or banking. Like this is important, but it is important later on for us. Stock exchange is spreading now, which would reduce the trade route bureaucracy cost and trade route competitiveness. Yeah, too bad about that. We're not really doing anything here. So far, so good. Russia has finished the colonization in Shakalin. We finished the colonization in Hokkaido. Right? I feel like we have the entire region. Yes, we have the entire region right now. So I would go here and we will go for no colonial affairs. This will represent a few problems for us trying to remove it, but we are not using it anymore. I mean, we have the Ryuko Islands here and these territories we can't really colonialize, I'm thinking, right? Like if I go and I would want to establish a colony, it says that we have, we must have an interest in Oceania. Okay, so maybe that would have been a way in which we could have spread it to this region. Like if we go for, what is it? Is it this one or I do not know exactly where all the menus are declared interests. And if we say Oceania, then maybe we could have expanded here as well. Now the only big problem I have with going in this direction at the moment, I feel like we would be encountering a few more tension from Great Britain, you can see they're cautious towards us, the Spanish Philippines, so the Spanish and a few other people, but then maybe that is a tactic for the future to take into consideration, maybe a different campaign. I would love to do a campaign as Japan and what is this? Will, so Great Britain will now be able to participate in diplomatic plays, conduct diplomacy and create trade routes with countries in the Japan region. I see. 
So they've grown or they've they've gotten a trade port. So they forced China to give them a trade port here and thus now they are able to trade with us. They have a presence around here. Okay. Cotton gene has been unlocked. What is that? The cotton gene is a machine which quickly separates the cotton from its seeds, is enabling a much faster processing time than doing it by hand. Plus 25% to the plantation building through output. And I believe that in order to do that, let's see, we can go to rural, we can go to the silk plantation here, do discount. Nope. We have no cotton plantation right now. Cotton, we would get fabric for, from it. We have a surplus of fabric right now, so I wouldn't want to build any kind of cotton plantation. But what else does do we need for cotton? Let's see. So we get some from the livestock ranches cotton plantation and we get a lot of it from substance farms pastures and orchards okay so that is our main way in which we are producing this for the rice farms do we want to produce figs no we do not want the fig orchards Another tool production business is being constructed. Let us take a look. We'll take a look, we'll build. Did I place a university? Doesn't seem like I placed a university anywhere. We just unlocked it. So I am going to do one. Let's see, where is our highest population? So we have the state of Kansai, almost 8 million. Then we have 6 million here and 5 million in here. So it will be Kansai and it will be Chubu, where we will be placing our first universities. At this point, I do not know if this is good. The only thing that I know is that we're going to try doing it. We're already promoting our national values up here in Hokkaido. Is there anything else that I would want? Promote social mobility, education access, that is interesting. Road maintenance is used in order to temporarily increase our infrastructure and the amount of goods that you get in a region or the access to the market for the people is given by the infrastructure. If you go over the cap that is currently using, then businesses and people will have a tougher time reaching the market, getting the goods that they need and thus decreasing their standard of living or the amount of profitability that they might have. So yeah. Doing a university would increase qualification by 10%, we would get plus 2 to innovation, and it would use paper. It would also require clerics, clergymen, what else was there? Academics and laborers. But it would also increase urbanization. I will do one in Kanto as well. What is our population here? So 3 million in the Tohoku region, in Shikoku we have 153, 4 million in Kyushu, so that is a good place to expand as well. To outside observers, the peasants may appear firmly committed to the idea of no colonial affairs, but behind this facade of unity discord has festered. Now a clique of dissenters have finally had enough and have officially broken with their fellow members over this issue of reform. Spitters may the devil take them. Okay, so we'd lose 15% of the success chance and the peasant will lose some interest group population attraction or loosen our purse strings. Perhaps we can lure some of them back. 
we'd reduce just by 10, it would increase our government expenses by 2700, 20, and the peasants will lose a lot less from their interest group. Definitely. I don't want the peasants to lose a lot of power. Uh, mostly, the only people I care to lose power are this, this shogunate, which right now have a lot. They have because their leader is meticulous, ambitious. They also have a lot, you can see major generals to here, a commodore, meaning the naval leader, and a bit more from having certain laws. I would like to change another one at pretty soon. Basically the local port this here. Apparently it, the local police has gained more support here and we've lost some of the support for dedicated? No, it, we're still good. I'm gonna try to go for dedicated next. I know I'm upsetting some of the people here in the shogunate, which will reduce our legitimacy, but we need to start taking steps early in order to ensure that we will have a future so where are we at with the buildings we are constructing the coal mines next will be the iron mines and then we'll have the universities russian manchuria i don't know i think they've declared their interest or something i would like these messages to stay up until we we close them. I don't know, maybe I can change something from the settings, but I will not look right now. Netherlands have declared the Great Britain to be their rival. Now, if I go around diplomacy and... Let me see here. If I de Can I remove this? I can remove this and I can start here. There's still some time here, apparently no, trying to restore to no colonial affairs has, is not going the right way. For us, we've unlocked Romanticism, which will re increase our prestige. What is this? So, the interest in Manchuria will disappear soon. Okay, sure. What are we going to do going from here on out? Now, going for central archives, it's too much. Six years to research something is too much and we don't need it right now because we are making money. I feel like we should either go into military or we should go into production. Improving our production will be important internally especially. Getting some soil enriching farms is interesting nitro it goes to nitroglycerin improved fertilizers and steam donkey what is this so the chemical plant will use iron and sulfur and we have sulfur in order to produce fertilizers fertilizers will be used in order to produce more food more food will mean at least in theory more population Getting high population early on could be important. We have quicker researches here in military. So let's get mandatory service and let's get 9 infantry as well. I am so curious to see if over here we'll be able to establish colonies let's see we have 12 points it's colonized west micronesia and east micronesia apparently we can expand a little bit we can go for tonga as well i guess you can colonize a lot of them well, let's leave it at this for now, see how tensions will grow and... I feel like we also need to make some ships. We have no ships right now, which might mean that we can't move our troops over the sea. And thus, let's see, a naval base. 
I will produce a naval base. Let's have it here in Chugoku. The reason why I'm putting it in Chugoku is because we can protect it. Or no, let's put it in Kansai, in our capital. And I feel like we will have to be making certain ships, right? If I take a look at the shipyard as a business itself. We are producing clippers. If I go to buildings and I go to the ports. We have cargo ports, we have anchorage. And this one produces 10 convoys, this one would produce 200 convoy and 5 infrastructure. Okay. Naval base. It makes manowars by needing what? So would we would need manowars. I feel like there's a way to produce certain goods, but maybe not, we'll see. The government's attempt to pass the no-colonial law has brought the ethics of colonialism to the forefront. So what do we do? No colonial affairs is morally correct. 20% chance to get 10% chance of enactment success, 40% chance to get 20% enactment success. We can concede on some of their points would reduce the chance that we get colonialism debated, but we wouldn't necessarily get a huge bonus there. Let's go big. Well, we failed. I guess going big when you don't have the advantage is not necessarily great. Now, yeah, we started colon colonializing here. So far, so good. But these regions are now isolated, ah, until they expand at least, they are isolated. High tensions with Tonga and Micronesia. Take on debt accepted, Cape Colony's national debt has been taken over by Great Britain. Okay. Now we've built our iron mines and let's take a look at them so we have coal now if we take a look at the market we will see that we are producing coal but now it's at minus 75 percent production because uh, or price because nobody's buying it and if we take a look at iron it hasn't appeared yet but it is going to appear Either way, there's no demand for anything. So we can go here to Kyoto. We can say, hey, let's take a look at the goods that you are providing here. I mean, we could even go by buildings. Maybe that's easier. And we're going to go to urban centers. We're going to go to the Kanto region or the Kansai region. And we're going to say gas streetlights. That would increase the price of coal from 7.5 to 5, 52.5. But this is just at the production level of this point, which is very low. So this will make a demand, it will provide us with more goods, but you can see that it wouldn't provide us with more cash. Thus, that's not the region where we want this to happen. Let's take a look around, see if there's any that would give us more cash by doing so. Not at this point, apparently. And I'm guessing that this is, once again, it's mostly because the price of the coal would skyrocket here to where it doesn't seem like it's important. But if I go to Kansai, let's create a demand. Let's see how this functions. We'll test it out. So we're losing minus 2.38k, they say, right? But let's make it happen. And let's see how the prices go. Because the thing that happens here... If we take a look at this coal mine, right now, they had 
of an event here. Yeah, this one. Coal mine is currently currently hiring, and it had a problem of hiring people because there was no real demanders. The price for coal was really low, right? But now that there is a demand for it and the price started to skyrocket, people will want to work here, right? Look at this, right? It's starting to become more profitable, it's starting to look a bit better. And now they're starting to make some money. The price is quite high, but we are going to be producing more. And we'll see how the demand will add up. Mandatory service unlock. Volunteers and mercenaries might not meet all the manpower demands of a modern military force. Sometimes the nation simply must demand service from all its citizens. Cool. We can go next to line infantry and I would like that. Let's get ourselves some line infantry. Establish a university. We need to build a university and to have an occupancy of 90%, but it needs to be of level 2 or higher. So we need to go here and we can we need to choose university and make sure that here in Kansai we're building it to level 2. And we're gonna bring this up. But before that, let's make sure that we're making this naval base. I feel like a naval base might be important if we're getting enough tensions to where the colonies might rebel. The, the tension is volatile here in Micronesia. It's going to be a bit tough trying to control the all the, the colonies. I do not know if that is a good thing to do early on within the game. Low market access, yes, for the colonies. Isolated state regions, okay. Can support more declared interest. Can we? Declared interest and we say in Manchuria. Is that okay? We already declared we are using 0 out of 1 apparently we cannot declare any more interest here because we already have or maybe we already started colonizing thus it doesn't really matter I can go for Indonesia we'd be near Australia Taking over Papua, I don't know if that is really important. Let's start thinking about declaring our interest over here. And not expand any more colonies, as it might be very troublesome. Establish a colony where? West Micronesia. We cannot colonize East Micronesia because there is no valid targets, we cannot reach the state, and we already have a colony there. We can colonize these isles. Nauru. Yeah, there are some regions that I don't know exactly why I would want to expand that far. I mean, I feel like it's, it's a problem. We'll see. Barracks, we can go to cannon or artillery, but it would be very expensive because we're not producing artillery. It would just skyrocket the price, but there's no goods. If we're not making them, there's no goods to, to produce. Or to, and to buy, to modernize the army. The intelligentsia have gone down. Let's see, over here. I need to reduce some of the strength, so monarchy will stay. Hereditary bureaucrats I would like to change, peasant levies would like to change, and serfdom, I'm not sure we can remove serfdom at this point. Let's see, we've almost... We're reaching the next checkpoint soon, let's see here. There's nothing that we can change right now, we're just going through the colonial affairs. West Micronesia. We've managed to really expand here in the Isles. How weird. 
low market access yeah so the first things that we have to do over here these aisles are part of Kyushu apparently okay so that is a plus um, okay let's stop this because we're wasting our time right no there's no not enough support there to go to no colonial affairs we'll continue to use our bureaucracy over here in order to incorporate it we would need to use some of our bureaucracy for a while and we will make a sh shipyard or a port port will provide us with some with some infrastructure right our infrastructure is low there's no access to the market apparently so i'm guessing that making a few ports here is the right idea in order to create some a, a line of communication okay now that we've stopped going for the no colonial affairs apparently some people became happier with us peasants became once again unhappy we have too many tools and that we are not using let's take a look at our production we need a lot of wood we're still missing a lot of service in the textile meals there's nothing to change let's see where do we have in the tooling we could go for using iron and that might be a good idea urban centers if i make a market square instead of a market stall it would increase our our cash but we would need more glass as well and the service ca money will go down okay you can see that we could get even more I, we need to increase our level of coal production here just to stabilize some of the price so we'll go to level 2 here with the coal mines what else military shipbuilding ah there it is so now all of a sudden we can take one of the shipyards and decide that we're gonna go military so we have naval here the naval base let's make sure that we're building two ports in order to create some ships of war if out scandal it has been revealed that Heihachiro Oshio of the Buddhist monks have been having a secret affair with a member of the clergy his resignation is being demanded he can lose 50 popularity or we can ignore it well you are a Buddhist monk you're moderate let's just ignore it we don't care and we need manowars for our port right now in order to start producing uh, at least a ship. I want to start making some harvesting tools. This will increase the price of tools, of course, but you can see that will also start providing us with more cash. Now, I won't be doing on the wheat farms because we have too much wheat as it is. If we go over here it would tank if we just upgrade 13 farms at once we would have to go one by one through here and try to stabilize the price of goods we can do some butchering but if we did that to the livestock ranches it would tank the price of meat while skyrocket the price of tools definitely need to go more into certain businesses i can make sawmills here Let's take a look. One of these is producing hardwood. If I go in Hokkaido and I say that from simple forestry I want you to go to sawmills. It would reduce the price of wood and it would increase a lot the price of tools. I guess we'll just wait here a bit more until we, we're constructing what we decided to construct. Afterwards, I am just going to go through the different businesses and try to expand them. Maybe we'll get a bit more research until that happens. 
let's see here for our ports when you all will be constructed we'll just have one level actually and if i go to urban and we're taking a look at the shipyards oh i need a shipyard i mean Yes, and we have one in Kyushu. What am I making? I'm making a port here. That's not what I want. What we want is a shipyard. There it is. And then we'll make military production. It will come at a high price here, but it's going to be okay. Establish a university has been completed successfully. The Shogun himself has officially opened the University of Kansai. Academia is beginning to flourish in the Japanese Shogunate. Philosophy is the highest calling of mankind. Through philosophy we can come to understand the very foundation of metaphysics, the natures of the divine and the essence of virtue. It stands to reason then that only the most enlightened of wisdom seekers are fit to hold power. So what do we want in society? We can go, society should be ruled by philosopher kings, increase the through output of university and give political strength to the academics. Modern institutions should, be, should employ modern methods, thus getting a bit more research on the empiricism, or formalize the medical profession, thus giving us more progress on the medical degrees. Now, Increase the political strength of the academics. People who get through university right now, I am guessing, are part of what? So, the Buddhist monks, the peasant, the intelligentsia, and then samurai and shogunate. Okay, then I do like going this way. We'll provide more to the academics. And let's see our market. When it comes to our market, we're still at an imbalance for clothes and furniture. So we need to go further. We do not have the technology technology to expand right now. So I would like to be like, for the non-luxury clothes, please give me two more levels. And for the furniture, the non-luxury furniture, give me two more levels. We now have a line infantry. So we have some soldiers that we can bring in. We have... We need more coal, so we we'll have too little coal. In the rural businesses, we'll be going to coal, and I will say that I want you to expand. It was already said to do so, and I feel like this should be a priority, so we're bringing it back up. Let's go down one, let's finish the university, and then we're making our coal production. As far as research goes, stock exchange will happen either way. Central archives, we could go for percussion caps. Army reserve for conscription, Napoleonic warfare is being spread automatically. A few ships could be interesting, but let's go to production. Let's start with intensive agriculture right now. Or do we? Let me take a look at our goods. We have plenty of our goods being supplied, but we're doing them through substance farming. We were going to develop it at some point, but I feel like the first technology should be in this direction, like making motors, maybe something for steel mills, right? It's pretty much what I am thinking. Let me put down also Arts Academy. Romanticism, it would produce us fine art by using paper, it would increase academics and aristocrats in an area, and also urbanization. I mean, it seems like the right building to place somewhere. 
Because I want more academics? Let's do that. Why not? And let's see where we can expand our paper industries. So industry, paper mills, we have three here, two here, let's do another one. Maybe even two. Because we are using a lot of paper for our bureau bureaucracy. There's here in Hokkaido, I don't really have a government administration and I would like to do so in order to start producing some bureaucracy and bring this region into the territory that we want. We have gold fields here in Hokkaido. Pretty good. So that's where we're getting our gold reserves from. Now, what territories do we have here? Should I go to Papua and establish a colony? Let's see, if I go to diplomatic place, establish a colony, we cannot do that because we do not have the required quinine, quinine technology. We could go to the Western Australia and colonize it. They don't have a lot of population, so other than territory, we would not get anything. Colonize Nauru. Let's try that. I almost feel like that should be it. I'm really debating going too far, especially since we do not have a navy, we do not have enough soldiers in the modern world going at war with the U UK or something like that would not represent, not be in our best interest. They don't want to form a defensive pack or anything because they are a great power, they have more power projection and the base reluctant to do so. Okay. Liberate subject. Japanese forces the Great Qing to grant independence to them. So they, we will face all these armies, and we have we have quite a few armies that we can bring to bear. Russia might join the war. Okay, so maybe just maybe we can force a conflict here soon. Let me prepare for that by going to industries and saying I want a small arms industry and we'll build it in Chubu, I think. Or we can start making it in Shikoku because it's slightly more protected. Let's make weapons in Shikoku. We have our iron here, so it should work well with us, right? This will increase our demand. That right now the price is tanking because of our internal market, but do not worry, we will get back up here in a second. So here we just want to... Stock exchange has been unlocked, an organized market where stocks and bonds can be brought and sold, the stock exchange is central element of a modern market economy. Something that it doesn't help us at all, unfortunately. But in order to go to war with them, with these people, we will have to make sure that we have a large enough navy to transport some troops over. Yatsuoshi Katsura has passed away, okay. Now let's take a look at some of the laws that we can exchange. In colonials, nothing has changed here. Local police. We could go for the dedicated police force and I feel like that is a good idea. And there's also this. Going for professional professional army seems like a good idea. Nobody really likes the peasant armies anymore. We have a new leader that opposes the peasant army. And it's either national militia or professional army. Professional army would just increase the samurai's strength. Let me take a look at our shogunate. So the shogunate right now 
let's see, government, laws with support, national guards. Professional army, there's a 56% chance to enact. So they are getting right now, let me take a look once again. Yeah, they've grown from wealth, they've gained a lot of political strength. Peasant levies is giving them 25% more power. Okay, let's let that be the first thing that we remove. And we're gonna go for professional army. I feel like that is the best and it's going to happen really quickly. Lattes have been unlocked. The latte is a machine for rotating a piece of material, but be it metal or wood, so that it can be easily so that it can be easily be machined into the desired shape. Okay. A lot of support we have here. The price of tools has tanked again. Let's take a look at the tools. Okay, so we have little demand. We are going to go over here and we're gonna take a look at the rural areas and the wood industry, so our logging camps. And I'm gonna tell them to use sawmills. Now that would, they say that it would tank because we're producing 480 more wood. It would tank the price for it, but it would definitely increase the price of tools. If I don't do them one by one and I just do these like a one territory at a time, let's do Tohoku first. And you see that the price of tools will skyrocket. There will be a demand there. If I go for a smaller impact, oh, we can actually do Hokkaido here. And the price of tools is going up at 36 right now. If the demand is higher for tools, then there, there will become a successful business thus producing more tools, right? You don't want to produce tools if you don't really have a demand for it. I think it's in Edo, right? Yeah, the big price, the big problem here is we didn't produce enough tools because it wasn't profitable to do so. They couldn't hire their laborers or their shopkeepers in order to sell. But now we're starting to get to a point where it matters. Once again, the demand for it has gone down. We're going back to our logging camps and I'm going to make Tohoku use these tools. Let's see how this will impact the business itself. Yep, they're making good money. And now they're starting to have cash reserves. Okay, there, there still needs to be a bit of a demand here because we are at minus 20. So finally, we're going one more time into the buildings, into the business of the wood cutting and say, please use, please use some tools. have this rousing speech captivates public. This afternoon, Nariaki Tokugawa, leader of the petite bourgeoisie, delivered a fiery speech advocating for the enactment of professional army. What do we want to do? Get 15% more success or performance like this? Pretty much increasing the interest group for the petite bourgeoisie. Now giving him, giving the bourgeoisie more power is good on one side, not great on the other. But they're at 5.9. They are some of the people that are closest to taking down the shogunate or getting people removed from the shogunate and brought into the petite bourgeoisie. So let's do that. Let's increase it here. And as I was saying, this is all the time that we have for today. Until tomorrow, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.